This video is brought to you by Ace of 12 Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Hello, this is Asip12 and this is my second tutorial. Uh, today, I'm going to be teaching you how to open programs using batch programming. If you've seen my first tutorial, you'll notice the screen size has got smaller. Uh, this is to help resolution because I've noticed when uh, on the previous res uh, the previous screen size, the resolution wasn't so great. So I've lowered the screen size so you guys can see the what I'm writing better anyway let's get started now um, as I said in my previous video I did use sin in that previous video but um, I'm get, gonna use a jedit for this one so jedit's a little bit more um, well it looks a bit better than um, sin but it's pretty much the same uh, this is from uh, an earlier project sorry so get rid of that. Um, I'm actually going to go view and line numbers, so we get these numbers on the line. And um, now we can stop programming. So um, let's should we try opening? We can open. Let's uh, try opening Mozilla. Now um, we we can't just go start Firefox.exe because um, th it just simply won't search the whole computer for firefox.exe we've actually got a point to where firefox.exe is so we're just going to open my computer local disk find program files there it is then mozilla there it is and so yeah there's firefox.exe but we've got a copy control c and then cd change directory that means here you go so you can see that a bit better there so change directory to c program files mozilla firefox so now it knows where we're pointing to we're gonna go start and if it's a big name you can right click rename control c space control V and the name of the file has got to be exactly the name as it is in the um, actual file here otherwise it will not work because you're pointing to you're telling it to start a file that isn't actually there so we're gonna fi uh, file save as uh, just loading jed it takes quite a while to load this um, save screen it is quite annoying at times but all for the best um, I'm gonna save it to my desktop there we go call it Firefox and it's got to be Firefox dot BAT lowercase or big letters and then save okay so it's appeared up here let's just close these two and then when we double click this Firefox opens so just to prove to you it's that I'll do it again there you go see and um, you can do this with anything in fact with Firefox you can make it open cert uh, you can make it open more than one tab uh, I think on the later versions of Internet Explorer you have to tabs as well so you can do it then I've actually forgotten um, I know where I can find it I've got mine in my documents I've saved all my batch files to uh, file here okay here we go I've got this just open it with notepad Okay, so with this, I've got change directory there. Start Firefox. Uh, here you go. You have to put the address in quotation marks. So I've actually got, um, I've put the login for Yahoo. I've got Google and I've got YouTube. So I can check, I can um, open this file up, check my emails. Um, I can have a free tab for Google if I need to search for anything. And I've got YouTube so I can see if 
any of the people I've subscribed to have made any videos or if any of my videos have been replied to. So, for educational purposes, let's say, <laughs> uh, let's, uh, I don't know, let's say, dig www.dig.com close that one off space and then we can do another one let's do yahoo.co.uk ah we've got to put www dot here Oops. always do it for good practice then finally let's do youtube and so we'll file save this just close them down and then open firefox.bat there we go three tabs loading ah oh, we've got yahoo there we can see um, oh unfortunately my firefox has decided to take this moment to crash so let's try that again just start a new session there there we go we've got dig here we got Yahoo here, and we've got YouTube here, and you can the list can go on. You can have tons of um, tons and tons and tons of tabs in Firefox, so you can open as many things as you want at once. And this is why um, batch programming is such a useful thing because it can open, it can you can just like do all this stuff and open stuff. I've actually programmed a menu. Here, so I can pretty much control my anything I use lots of the time. I can control it all from here. This is like I can control my computer from here by typing in a number. Here I've got please select a number. I can type in any number. Let's say um, if we want sin or iTunes. Let's try iTunes. So I type in two because iTunes is under two. And if we wait for a bit, because iTunes can be quite a large file to open and here we go we've got iTunes so that's just two of the examples you can use batch programming to help your life out anyway this has been a tutorial by SF12 over and out